Okay guys, one more submission variation I want to show you guys now is the Kimura. Now, I do this more when my opponent's butt is already on the floor, because once their butt's on the floor, it's kind of like the opposite of what we were doing before. Before, we want it all the way on the arm. So then the legs are light and we can put pressure. When their butt's on the floor, all their weight's on their legs, the arm is very light, you see? So it's kind of the opposite. But it can be very, very strong, the Kimura from here, you know? I started doing a lot of Kimuras for my sister because she like won every Worlds uh, finishing her final with the Kimuras. So she's very good at Kimuras. So I learned my details from the Kimuras from her. So I'm going to show you like some cool positions from the Kimura that I can hit from the Delhiva. Okay, so stand up please. So when do I do the Kimura? I'll do the Kimura when I'm playing Delhiva and when I get her butt to the floor. So. Any sweep you guys want to drill right now. Della Hiva, the, the setup, like going over the head, anything I want. I'm here, I bring her foot up, she can have Toriano grips, we're still in world one, right? Shoulders forward. Toriano grips, a collar and leg, okay? So we're here, she has the post on my arm, we go here, I move the post off my body, I move her down, I make her fall here, right? So now I'm here guys, and notice how this wrist is close to me, right? And she's putting weight on her butt, she can even be grabbing here, anything here. I just noticed that this hand is around me, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to let go of the ankle now, and I'm just going to keep my frame with my foot on her body. I'm going to grab the wrist like so. After grabbing the wrist, notice my frame still. My foot's on her hip. My collar grip is right on her neck, the collarbone, as a frame, right? And I can push away, pull, you know, all the ways that we can use the collar grip now. I'm holding the wrist, and notice when I hold the wrist, how I'm trying to bring her shoulder forward and her wrist back. Always when you do it more. Why? Because we learn in posting. If the shoulder is away, the post will be strong. How can I bend her arm? Her shoulder is forward. Her hand is closer to her butt. You see, now the elbow is bent. So we're able to shut off the strength in her palm, making all the way on her elbow. What are we going to do now? What we're going to do is we're going to keep this back leg strong. And I can throw my leg over or I can leave it here. For now, I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. And I'm going to bring my hip up like this just to make an extra frame on my knee. So I have one frame, two frames, three frames, four frames, five frames. Wait, one. You also have one kind of with my knee too, keeping my knee down. Obviously. Yeah, this knee. Yeah, I know. So this one too. Oh, no, oh, so, oh, like this? You're yeah. saying like here and here. Yeah. So it's almost six frames, you see, so there's so many. Okay, so once I'm here, I pull. I'm going to take my hand, I'm gonna grab her tricep like so. I'm not gonna immediately go like this. I like to pull the tricep a little bit, why? because it makes the angle of the elbow a little more bent. So now it's a little easier for me once I have these grips like this to feed my grip to the Kimura grip, okay? Notice I'm on my shoulder because I can move my body around her. And now I can bring my leg over her body like so. Now I put it in a very compromised spot because the only way she could technically defend this would be stuffing my back leg in the half guard and trying to come up, right? So we just have to avoid half guard and we should be in a very good spot. So all I do is I, I keep my hip up, I get over her hip. So bring your knee back over here. I just get my knee over her hip like so. Now look where I am. I have so many ways to finish this now, guys. I can throw my leg over. I can go into an arm bar. I can stretch my body, sweep her, go to mount. I can stay here. I can pull her body up this way, be careful, to close guard and go here. The only thing I gotta do when I do a Kimura is I gotta angle her body this direction because the more weight on this shoulder, the weaker this shoulder will be for the Kimura, right? And now I go higher on the elbow to bend the elbow and now I can angle and finish the Kimura. Okay, so stand up again. So you see the Kimura just, all submissions work with the posting things that I explained for sweeping. You see how they all work together with the posting? So not only do the, con the concepts of the post help us with sweeps, they help us with submissions also. So I'm here, Mandela Hiva. Here, here. She's holding the collar. I push her away. I sweep her down. I get here. I start pulling her shoulder to me. I'm trying to sweep her like normal, like this, right? But I see this hand is near me. So I see her weight's on her butt, but she has some weight on this hand. So I pull the shoulder forward. I push the wrist away, like so. So now she might start squaring up with me. You see, now I go like this. Tricep and arm. So try to move now. Now look at the grip I have on her. You see, I can even hook her back like this. 
You see, I have this control of her arm. Try to move your arm out. Now I'm gonna go on your shoulder. Try to move your arm out. Okay. Like try to move your, before I, yeah, like, like, like scramble. You see? You see how she can move. Now try to move. You see, this two grips on her arm is what makes this control so strong because I'm completely controlling how her arm could move. So I keep the Kimura grip. I prefer to use my thumb on the wrist. This is fine too. It just depends how strong your hand is, right? I like using my thumb just because I have small hands and I feel like the thumb gives me a little more control on the wrist. You see, and I'm opening the wrist like this, you see, because she's strong when she can close her elbow and be here, right? You see if, her, if she's able to tuck in her elbow like this. If I get her hand like this, tuck in your elbow, she can't. So the angle of the hand is very important when I'm here. I keep the, so put your hand back on the floor. Yeah. So I, I open, I open, I open here. I start putting pressure here. You see, I start turning. I start turning. Yeah, like this. Perfect. Now look at this. Try to move your arm. Try to pull out. Posture. See, this kills the posture also because I have this tricep grip. You see, this is strong, right? When I have the tricep grip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the Kimura grip. When I lock the Kimura grip, I'm going to pull the arm to me, the hand back, and now I'm going to feed. You see, there's no space when I do this for her to move her arm. So I go like this. Here, I pull it to me. I bring my head to my hand. Now look, I bring my forearm on the arm. The whole time, keeping the pressure on this tricep this way, right? If I just go like this, back your arm up, like uh, close your arm, yeah, like this. But if I'm like this and I go like this, close your arm, close your arm, close your arm. You see, there's no space for you to bring your arm back. So a lot of people, when they go for Kimura, they just reach for it and then you close your elbow. Let me see a lot of people, when they go for Kimuras, they just reach for it, close your elbow. Look, I lost it. But if you go like this, and now try to close your elbow. And now look, I'm keeping your elbow open. I move my forearm. Now keep your elbow open. Keep your elbow open. Keep your elbow open. You see how I'm able, there's no space for you to close now, right? But a common mistake you'll see in Jiu-Jitsu, people just do this. Boom. And now close your elbow. You see, I can't fight this. But if I go like this, now try to close your elbow. Now look, try to close your elbow. Try to close your elbow. I keep the same pressure on her elbow open the whole time. That is so important when you do a Kimura, guys. So we're here, try to close. Try to close. I lock the Kimura. Once I lock the Kimura, you see I'm on my elbow, I'm gonna go on my shoulder and fall back. Here. You see, I fell very soft because the Kimura is very dangerous on your part, okay? So I use my elbow on her hip. I use her elbow on her hip. I bring my leg above her body like so. Now, her only option to defend this would be to either just fall back or get the half guard on my leg. Try to get half guard on my leg. Very hard, right? Yeah, because I feel like it's stuck here. Because I'm using my shin in front of her whole body, you see? Because my shin's in front of her whole body, it's very difficult for her to get my leg into half guard. And her knees are off of her chest because we have this, just like all the mount things we did before, okay? So because I'm here, my shin is here, I have the Kimura grip, she can't put my leg in half guard. And now look what I can do. I can bring her body down. Once I bring her body down, look where I am. I have the Kimura here. Or, I'm here. I can bring my leg up, up, and now I can bring her body toward me like this. Here. Once I do this, all her weight on her head. If I feel this arm start straightening, I just go on the elbow to bend. So I bring my arm up. So the Kimura is here. I bring my arm up higher. If I try to go here, I can't, right? I learned this detail also from my sister. Here, I go on the elbow like this. Now I can bend the arm, you see? Once I here and I go like this, I can bend the arm. Now I can move my body, I can move my body. You see, now there's no, it's so strong to finish the Kimura. Okay, again, stand up please. You see how many small details there are in submissions also though? Like basic submissions, like oh, a Kimura, like, a thousand details in it, you know, that's what's so cool about jiu-jitsu. It's a basic move, yet it's so complex, right? It's just all the rules of posting you're using in a Kimura, though. We're here. I move her and make her fall. I go here. I get the wrist. I go here. I move my body. I move my body. I keep my frames. Try to move. Here. I connect. I bring my hip up. I bring my hip up. I can bring her body to close guard here. One. I can go to mount here. Two. I can throw my leg over her head here. I can go to the Tarika Plata here. I can keep pressure here, hooking her back arm like this. Now try to roll. 
It's very hard to roll, right? Yeah, I can't roll it. You see, I could even, there's so many options here, guys. It's like you have so many options to play with when you're in this spot. So let's go again. Here. Be careful. See, if I could get my knee already to her shoulder like this, this would be ideal because now there's no way she could come into me, right? This yeah. is really strong. This is very strong. Yep. And look, I could already finish here. Yeah, sorry, was, sorry. No, 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 that was a really good. Look, one. Thank you. I could just bring my knee to her shoulder and start finishing with the more pressure here. Or I could throw my leg over and put pressure here. You see, there's so many different options I have here. You know? So let's, I just want you to practice getting this grip and doing this concept I just showed you. Here. 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 Now, once I get this, look, if I can bring my knee under her armpit, look how strong I'm going to be here. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Like, uh, can you go back to when you're here? This leg is very, very strong. What exactly are you doing here? Right now, or? No, in general, like when you're... I'm just keeping it above your hips, right? So now you can't I mean, frame. it feels like a bar. Like, I can't even move at all. Because my shin is in front of your stomach, right? My shin and knee. So look what I can do with my shin and knee. Oh, let's show them what my back leg is doing. Let's change sides. Face this way. So look what I'm doing with my back leg when I'm here. I have the wedge, right? I'm here, but look at this heel. I'm hammering the heel down. Here. You see, now try to move my leg. Try to peel my foot. See, now it's really strong. And now I can bring the pressure. But look, I grab the grip like this. This is just a different angle for them. I grab the grip, I grab the grip, I pull. I use my form, I use my form. I bring my head and elbow to me. I connect, I fall down, sorry. My elbow's here, my elbow, sorry. My elbow's here, I connect. Now I have the pressure here. If I can, I can even hook my, my dollar here over here so it makes it even harder for her to move. Okay, so I want you guys to work this now. Working, getting the Kimura grip and practicing those small concepts on the arm. Okay, let's work it. Let's.